Well, look no further than Chino Hills for one of golf's brightest young players. Vincent Cuevas has a swing like Rory and a drive like Jordan Spieth. But neither of those are his favorite golfer, and I bet his answer will surprise you. Vincent Cuevas is just eight years old, but he's already a veteran on the golf course. My favorite shot is it was a par four. I hit one really far driver, it's like 20 yards away from the hole, and I chipped it in. For an eagle? For an eagle. Oh! And I knew it was on footage, so I wanted to be like, yeah. <laughs> no, did you give a little celebration? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It started by hitting wiffle balls at 18 months old and watching golf on TV with his dad. I started playing when Tiger won the Masters for the first time in 1987. He would watch golf channel or TV tournaments with me and then I realized, oh my God, he's like super into this because it'd be nonstop sound of wiffle balls all over the house. <laughs> the golf post like Tiger, I always try like um, duplicating the string, yeah. So you were 18 months? 18 months. Wow. Like Tiger, Vincent started young, first competing in tournaments at the age of four. And it wasn't long before he was taking home trophies. It became like, wow, he started playing at a level that I, I think soon after that, I felt like, wow, I don't even swing like that. That's so awesome how he plays. Who are some of your golfing idols? Who do you look up to? Uh, the Spanish golfer Sevi and Lee Trevino. And this is um, amazing face. And how he contacts the ball. We've got guys like Tiger, Speed, Rory. Why Lee Trevino? He's always like hitting the ball from right to left as a lefty. When he learned that Lee Trevino hits constant fades, he just felt like, oh, that's me. Vincent has a bright future in golf and also wants to be a two-sport athlete in college playing quarterback. But his ambitions don't stop there. Vincent seems to have a plan for life already at eight years old. Talking about going to Stanford and business. Where does that come from? I think for him when he learned that there's a lot of athletes that uh, took whatever success that they had in sports, like magic is one that he really loves to hear about. For him to hear about how somebody could take whatever success they have in sports and then transfer it to success in other parts of life to him. He talks about that a lot. He's always talking about some aspect of financial this or financial that. But what do you love about Magic Johnson's story? He was an NBA All-Star and then when he was still a player, he like owned a couple percent of the Lakers, right? Yeah. And he was a part of the Dodgers. What I love about your story, Vincent, is that you're so focused on your future and it's not just golf. What is your goal in life? My goal in life is to not only be a golfer, but to be a business, a uh, business person and have a business and own part of some other businesses, yeah. That foundation from sports that you get and from, for other folks, it's other things, can really help you. It's like, what is your skill set or the thing that you do well? And I feel like for Vincent, if that's from golf, that he then launches into something that he's just so passionate about, to me, it, it doesn't matter what that is. 